Every Monday morning, I wake up, I walk to work, and I'm fully aware that I need to bulk record some videos. I upload two to three videos a week. I've uploaded seven, 800 videos, tutorials to this YouTube channel, and over the last eight years, maybe 3,000 across a few brands, either for myself or for clients, that kind of thing. You would think after 3,000 videos, I'd run out of things to talk about. That's why today I'm going to be talking about the vidIQ daily video idea tool, how it can help you, how it can inspire you, and how you can wake up on a Monday morning, walk to work, and know that you've got at least five, 10, 20, or even 50 ideas to seed your channel for the coming weeks and months. Let's uh, jump into my office. Okay, so the first thing I do is I turn on my computer, I hop on to my dashboard, and I make sure, of course, that I've installed my vidIQ plugin. It's as simple as going to vidIQ.com forward slash Alan Spicer, scroll down, click the install, it adds it to Chrome, it's very, very easy, it even works on Firefox. Now to get the full potential out of this app, I've got the Pro version. I've always used the Pro version, it's one of the reasons why my YouTube channel's grown so aggressively over the last year. And then I scroll down on the left-hand side, and you'll see all of these features here that have been added by vidIQ. And the top one is daily ideas. What this does is it pulls a load of data from its magical black box and its own personal algorithm, your channel, and all of the channels within your niche on YouTube and starts throwing content suggestions at you. It then spits out video ideas that you can say that you like or you hate, dependent on the, the features here. And it also gives you a prediction of roughly how much views this could give you. A, a, a very high, a high, low, that kind of thing. But anyone that's having a, a problems with writer's block, here, for example, just, just alone, how to research your niche on YouTube. Sounds like a good video title for me. How much does small YouTube channel make? I've made a video on that itself just a couple of weeks ago. Tips for a better morning. Okay, maybe not necessarily me. Tips for a better morning for a YouTuber. Tips for motivation for a YouTuber. Motivation tips, morning routine for YouTubers. These aren't gospel titles. Don't just rip them and use them as titles. Use them as jumping off blocks. Twists that you can do. What happened to Snapchat? Algorithm hacks for brand deals. There you go. That's something that I wouldn't have considered, but I could certainly make a video on. Something fresh. Voice for YouTube videos, good news for YouTubers. How to make professional voice for YouTube videos. Best hacks for YouTube. How to remove the X button from YouTube videos. And then I can click show all 50, and then it just keeps going. Going and going and going. Now some of these won't be relevant to me at all. So in this case, Scope for Beginners 2020. No thank you, and I click Dismiss. You won't see this idea again. What this does is it feeds back into the vidIQ algorithm. Ah, uh, this might not be for me. You may have got this one wrong. It will regurgitate and reprocess, and next time, the next day that it runs through them, it will then spit out slightly improved ideas. But if there's an idea that I really like, how to research your niche, I click save. How much does a small YouTube channel make? Algorithm hacks for brand deals. Good news for YouTubers. How to make professional voice for YouTube videos. How to make shareable videos on YouTube. Tips for filming YouTube videos, etc, etc, etc. Once I've clicked all the little love hearts, you want to save them here. It will tell me when I've saved them. I can delete them whenever I wish. It will also tell me under the dismiss tab the ones that I, I didn't like. But under the saved ideas, I can then click on the little search on YouTube. So, so for example, how much does a small YouTube channel make? Search, and then goes to the search results. I can then compare and have a look at what the other videos happen to do, right? What the thumbnails look like, what the titles look like. In my case, I'd look at them and go, okay, well that's two years old, that's 11 months old, that's one year old, that's nine months old, that's four months old. So there's two there that are fairly recent, but the rest at the top of the search are fairly old. Maybe that's a, a, a snipeable topic. This way I never run out of ideas. I can continue to pull a list together, I can generate a a to-do list of videos here, and every day this refreshes. Once again, it's completely free to install. vidIQ.com forward slash Alan Spicer. Add it to your browser, whether it's Chrome, whether it's Firefox, they even have a mobile phone app. This is invaluable. I can go in every day, generate a list of, a hit list of videos that maybe I never make, 
but at least it can inspire me. I can jump in here when I'm struggling that day. I can have a look and go, good news for YouTubers. Brilliant, go make that video. See, this is a tool that I use in conjunction with many other tools when uploading my YouTube videos. In fact, it's part of my YouTube upload masterclass that I did here. Go check out that video there. Go check out vidIQ and install it here.